In 1964, Opel introduced its first luxury model since the Second World War, the Diplomat V8. The coupe seen here was the exclusive top of the CAD range. CAD stood for Capitaine, Admiral, and Diplomat, which that year were combined as the Diplomat. Uwe Madtin of Opel describes the A-Series CAD models as following American design very closely. It could easily have been confused with a big American sedan. By the mid-1960s, Opel's parent company, General Motors, was exerting more and more influence on the design of Opel models. At the time, this look was in demand. So the Diplomat A's American-style contours came as no surprise. In 1969, five years after its introduction, the Diplomat A was succeeded by Diplomat B. The developers had completely redone the V8 sedan. The new luxury model made a more compact European impression, visually more reminiscent of its competitor Mercedes. When Mercedes rolled out its W108 line in 1965, later known as the S-Class, it set the standard. But the biggest engine for the W108 was a 3-liter six-cylinder. Not until 1971 did Mercedes engineers go for a little something more, putting a 200-horsepower V8 with 3.5 liters of cubic capacity in their 280 SE. Opel's Diplomat B was powered by the small block V8 with a whopping 5.4 liters of capacity, connected to a three-speed automatic transmission. A stick shift was not even offered. Ventilated disc brakes front and back and a modern d Dion tube rear axle brought Opel's flagship model into the 1970s. Compared to its predecessor, the B had more sober, direct contours. A vinyl roof, trendy in the 1970s, emphasized the diplomat's claim to luxury. Available as an option from 1976 on were aluminum alloy rims. The retractable windshield wipers came as a result of wind tunnel testing. The Diplomat B's interior was finished in the finest velour with thick carpeting underneath and wood trim. This particular car once plied the streets of Bond's government quarter. An optional version had an extra long wheelbase, long enough to accommodate a chauffeur. By the mid-1970s, gas-guzzling V8s were no longer in demand. The first oil crisis had changed the needs and priorities of German drivers. So Opel shelved plans already made for a sporty new V8 coupe. Uwe Merton explains that there was a prototype called CD for Coupe Diplomat. They'd already been thinking about how a nice coupe based on the Diplomat B might look. The Opel CD was presented at various car fairs as a prototype, but soon vanished into oblivion. Opel's Diplomat had given its illustrious competitor with the three-pointed star a run for its money, but in 1977, the Times caught up with the CAD range. Opel bowed out of the luxury car and never made another car with a V8 engine. <laughs>